Hello, and thank you for tuning in. You are tuned in to The Encourager, and my name is Nehru. I am an Egyptian shamanic healer and esoteric guide here to raise the vibration of the planet and the and man, man's vibration. So, again, thanks so much for tuning in. So I would like to take a couple of minutes and talk to the fellas. What's up, brothers? What's going on? And you don't have to be a brother to be a brother. You don't have to be a brother to be a brother. Right? So, anyway. Um, so I want to talk about for just a moment... Those of us who are divine feminines, okay? So, again, if those of you who are not, for those of you who are not familiar or very familiar with divine energy, and um, <laughs> I didn't even mean to say divine energy. Uh, I meant to say <laughs> divine masculine and feminine, but it's divine energy. Both are divine energy, Okay. So again, very briefly, when it comes to energies, so as a male, as a female, we can be we can be dominant in male and feminine energy, masculine and feminine energy, right? So I am a male. That's the way I was born, and I ain't changing that shit. Don't do that because God don't make mistakes. Yeah, we have free will. And again, if you want to know what man has done with free will, look at the world around you. Look at the functioning of the operating systems and programs that man has in place today. If you think that Most High gave you your free will to change your dick to a vagina or your vagina to a dick, you're sadly mistaken, my friend. Sadly mistaken. And mistaken. <laughs> you are, you, that's an error in judgment. 100%, 100%. Most High did not create Adam and then give Adam the option to change the sex of who he was. Really? If he wanted man to have both, and when he does, man's born with both. They call those people hermaphrodites. Okay? Most High doesn't make any mistakes. So, As I smudge to clean out the energy. 303 on the timer. So, I uh, just finished up the angel number reading um, for today. So, yes. So, it could be a, you could be a female and be a divine feminine. Okay? You can be a male and be a divine masculine. Right? So, your, your, your sex, what's between your legs or grows on your chest has nothing to do with your energetic, nothing, okay? The way that you are in this lifetime is just very simply the way that you are. Yes, it serves a purpose, but that should not be the main focus, you being a male or a female, okay? So again, talking to the divine feminine males, okay? So if you are a divine feminine male today, if you've, if you've gone through the dark night of the soul, and you know who you are today. And you walk in that. Because you can know who you are and still not walk in it. That's what. That's how people turn karmic. Right? Because no one's born racist. No one's born discriminating. No one's born a narcissist. No one's born a manipulator. No one's born that way. They are taught or allowed to learn those things. Okay? So. If you are a divine feminine, but you are a guy, you are a male, and that's the way you were birthed this lifetime. You were born with a penis, okay? Um, and you are heterosexual, okay? I'm talking to you, all right? I'm not talking to the ones who are going both ways. I'm not talking to the ones 
who who mess around on the side and 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 on the DL and I'm not talking about the, I'm not talking to you. And if you are on this, you can listen. I don't know if you're going to like what you say what you hear. You probably haven't already liked what you've heard already. So but you divine feminine, you've been through a lot. Okay? So if you are a guy, You take care of yourself well, physically speaking. You groom yourself, right? Again, I use the toenails cutting through the socks. Your toenails are not cutting through your socks, okay? And you cannot dig in your ear, through your ear, one one canal through the other with your fingernails, right? You you trim, you know, you take care of your nails, you clean them, you... You know, you know, you take care of yourself. You have a skin regimen for, especially for your face, man, right? You, you, you do these things. You take care of yourself. You cut your hair. You go to the barber regularly. You like to take care of yourself. You are a divine feminine. Okay. That's not to say a divine masculine doesn't. However, a divine masculine is a very different energy. A divine masculine is the worker. So I'm going to break this down for you. So in the physical, Most High created man and woman. He told man that the he told he told the masculine energy that you will till the ground by the sweat of your brow in order to feed your family because of your sin. In the garden, they didn't have to do shit. All they had to do was just sit back and relax, soak in the sun that was constant. And just enjoy the grapes that were the size of houses. That's all they had to do, but they couldn't do that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, but he told the masculine energy that, and that's what the masculine energy is, even till this day, and it will never change. The mass 707 on the timer, that was one of our angel numbers today. When we take a look at the masculine energy, the masculine energy is the physical worker that is their prime focus it doesn't matter you could be the male when you get joined to your divine masculine female okay then okay because you can't be in a homosexual relationship and be a divine feminine and divine masculine cut the bullshit I had to say that for somebody. You cannot be a divine feminine and a divine masculine in a fuck boy, fuck girl relationship. You can't do that. That's never going to work. Yahweh will remove all of your power. He will shut it down with a big breaker. You know, the one outside, the clink, you know that one? Yeah. No, that is a disgrace. Why did he set, why did he destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Yeah. Uh, so, um, so with that, okay. So your divine masculine men that are divine feminines, they will have, if you desire to get married, they will have a strong work ethic. A very strong work ethic. Why? Because that is what is just in them. It has nothing to do with them physically. It is just what's in them because they are a divine feminine. They are divine masculine. And again, Most High told the masculine energy, you will work by the sweat of your brow in order to feed your family because of sin. So, the feminine energy... Men, divine feminines, men that are divine feminines, your role is that of the protector, okay? You are the spiritual energy, spiritual source, okay? Money is the spiritual currency or the money is the currency of the earth. Faith is the currency of the kingdom. You are the faith in that relationship, and they are the money. And I don't mean that like you stay at home and be a lazy ass. That's not what I mean. I mean through them, the natural wealth comes. Through you, the spiritual wealth comes. And that's the combination. 
That's how it works together. Ideally, ideally, we would get to such a place individually where we are strong and balanced in both our masculine and our feminine energies. And then that way, we don't need anyone to balance us out. That is ideal. And that's where Most High, Divine Source, Patal, Lord of the Spirits, is wanting to get us. And in fact, he prefers Patal, my Lord. So that is exactly where Patal, my Lord, is wanting to get us. Lord of the Spirits is a different name. Yahweh is a different name, different recognition, blah, blah, blah. Right? So Patal, my Lord, is exactly that. Wanting us to get to where we are, as, as it is, perfectly balanced in masculine and feminine energies, not needing either or not needing any additional. So when you are in 1101 on the timer, when you are in your perfect realm and vibrating at your highest place, your masculine, your divine mass or your masculine energy and your feminine energy are beautiful. Perfectly balanced, 50, 50, 100, 100, whatever. Okay? Perfectly balanced. That should be our goal, divine masculine and divine feminine. Okay? Because then and only then can you even attract the divine masculine or divine feminine. Okay? Then, if you've already known them, you've already met them, I can tell you for a fact, divine feminine, you need... If you've run into issues with them, the, with the divine feminine, you need to stay away from them. You need to walk away from them. Why? Here's why. Because you need to allow them to do their own healing. Even though you may see that you two are supposed to or were a possibility of you two being together. You need to walk away from them, let them drown or let them swim. Whatever they're going to do, you need to walk away, Divine Feminine, and allow them to do that. And this doesn't matter if you are male or female. If you are Divine Feminine uh, or Divine Masculine and you know you are, you, you know who you are and you are vibrating and operating in your highest, purest, truest self and they are not, whoever that person is, one, two, three, four on the timer when I looked over there. You need to release that person. Do some cord cutting. You need to let them go. Divine masculines, you have been the black, um, excuse me, the divine masculine and divine feminines. We have been the black sheep of our family. So men divine fem, that are divine feminines, you have been the black sheep of your family. Why? Because, and I'm going to tell you what you, what you energetically maybe have been feeling throughout your life. So you've been feeling that you were, you were, you were unique and special. You recognize perhaps some of your, 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 your gifts early on when you were a child, perhaps you remember that you dreamed a lot or, or, or supernatural things just happened around you. Things moved, um, objects and, and, and what have you. Let me read what this says here real quick. Um, there was a, uh, oops, I don't want the timer to stop. Um, but there was a, Oh, something about Prince William and Kate. Um, so, anyway, um, yeah, so that's interesting. We are royalty, okay? We are royalty. Um, and so, you need to find that out, too. And you need to find out what type of royalty you are, blah, 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 right? I did not know five years ago um, that, uh, that my background and bloodline was Egyptian shamanic. I only found that out through going through spiritual awakening and then removing those things that no longer serve me and going internal to understand really why I was here. Because I, probably like you, have always known that there has been a, a, a much higher, truer, greater purpose for me being here on this planet. I, I've, I've had that since, since I was, I could say since I was a kid. I, I've had that since. Um, I believe there are things that I said, things that I saw, things that I did as a child that those who were around me at that time, we call those people parents, those people who were around me at that time do not tell me, have not told me and never will tell me. Um, and perhaps again, uh, male defined feminine, maybe that's you. Okay. You had experiences, uh, perhaps today 
with your enlightened self. Perhaps you are a tarot card reader. You are a psychic. You are uh, on some platform sharing your story and helping others to grow and, and, and spiritually mature and change their situation to recognize who they are today. Uh, perhaps it's just your friends. OK, uh, for a long time before starting this channel, it was just it was just my friends and family. Right. Um, and I would share whatever spiritual downloads with them. I was a part of a re house, a religious church for 20 years after the military. And um, uh, upon leaving that place in 2020 um, or excuse me, 2022, um, then I realized and that's two, two, two again. If you're a divine feminine man, man, you've seen synchronicities and divine masculines have, and other everybody sees synchronicities. It's just a matter of whether they recognize them or not, right? But again, I'm addressing male divine feminines right now, okay? So you've seen synchronicities throughout your lifetime, and if you didn't understand synchronicities or know what they were, you do today, and you understand that. Uh, when your angels are speaking to you, when you're seeing repeated numbers, you know that if you see a repeating number, you know to go look that number up because that your angels and your ancestors, most high is trying to say something to you, trying to send you a message. Um, so uh, if you are a divine feminine, you are probably very, very comfortable with being by yourself, uh, especially if you are a um, uh, empath. OK, so if you are an empath. Um, you probably enjoy being by yourself, okay? If you are an alchemist, um, you probably enjoy being by yourself, or at least you're more comfortable with that than most people. Most people are not comfortable with being by themselves for any length of time. I could live by myself for the rest of my life, and I wouldn't feel like I've lost anything. I, I, I could be single, for the rest of this natural life. And I wouldn't feel like I've lost anything. In fact, I feel like my tranquility and peace would be better if I stayed single. So, again, you might feel that way as well. Um, there are a few that I am aware of who are this way. And some of them are women, right? That they are, they are, they are spiritually evolved and evolving, OK, and uh, and they are I don't know if they're divine feminines or masculines. I've never asked them, actually, but I could I know from conversations and, and, and things that they vibrate at a very high level. They are celibate. They protect their sacral chakra, their 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 solar plexus chakra, their heart chakra like they're loving, but they have boundaries that are are legitimate and 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 yet they're very open and they're very beautiful people when you you notice them when they walk into the room it's the it's the princess die energy when divine feminines uh and divine masculines walk into the room okay for me especially divine feminines or especially so i've noticed this from this side okay so i've had people even people that I've been with, they've walked into a place with me and they say, you notice how everybody's staring at us? Yeah, yeah, I, I, and I do, honestly. I typically notice or feel that when I walk into a place. And again, that's just your empathic abilities. That's all that is. Sometimes it's need for attention, something to pay attention to. And then other times it's just, nope. It's innocent enough. You come in, your light is golden because you are glowing and people see you and they're just like, whoa, what is that energy? Right? It's just who we are. When we are vibrating at our highest, purest, truest self possible. Okay? So, um, I used to be uncomfortable, uncomfortable with this. Okay? And... Uh, I don't know. I just got used to it at some point. I don't know when. I just did. And I just realized, you know what? <laughs> um, I just got some message about some, some extra discount. Somebody's getting an extra discount. Um, so. Divine Feminine Men. I want you to be comfortable with who you are. 
all by yourself. Understand the power that you hold. Understand that you can be your divine masculine and your divine feminine. Understand this, men. Understand this. You do not. You do not need a vagina in order to complete you. Uh, four or five months ago, I posted a video uh, for the new subscribers uh, on this channel. I posted a video and it's called Men Don't Need Pussy and Women Don't Need Dick for Our Destinations or something like that. Okay. If you would like to go ahead and listen to that video, please feel free to because it points out there was just another congratulations. Some something's happening. I just got another congratulations email or text or something. There is something. There's something happening. Um. So yeah. So um, I have these Egyptian cards here. Let me take a look at these. Let's see if. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not all up on, on, I'm learning. I'll just say that, I'm learning. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm just learning. So, anyway, um, so let's take a look at uh, these Egyptian cards and see, and they're just, they're, they're Egyptian oracle cards, um, you know, so let's see who's, who's wanting to, oh, there's one. Let's see who's wanting to talk to us today. Osiris, Anubis, um, Oshun, let's see, I don't know, find out. I didn't plan on doing this when I started the video, but it was 22 minutes exactly when I glanced over at the timer just now, but let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to take all of these, and this is five. Oh, damn. I forgot to mention this during the angel number readings. So yesterday, yesterday when I was out for a walk, I go for a walk daily. If you do not do that, man, you need to do that. You need to go outside, get in the grass, walk around with no shoes on, ground yourself, stand in dirt, sand, something. You need to do something that connects you to the earth, man. You need to do that every day. You could go outside and you could plant in the ground, right? You need to do something, something every day that connects you to the earth, okay? All right. So, um, let's take a look. I don't know how I'm going to set this up. I didn't plan on doing this. So, let's take a look. Let me use the laptop. Because I want something, a flat surface that's where we can at least view all the cards at the same time. So, let's take a look at... Um, Let's take a look at this and see what it is that um, that Most High would like to share with us. Okay, so let's take a look here. So thought, okay, 12, that is for wholeness, okay, wholeness. I ordered um, an Egyptian, um, it's not a curtain, but it's something, it's a large cloth something print, okay, and thought is, thought is on there, okay, wholeness, number 12, okay. Uh, next, next we have shoe number three, order and peace. Okay, that's the number three. You all know three is important to me. I was birthed on the 333rd day of the year. Perhaps you were birthed on the third day of the year or the 300 and something day of the year, the 33rd day of the year, 13th day of the year, uh, 23rd day of the year, what have you. Okay, so shoe. Number three, order and peace. Wholeness, order, peace. 33. Selkis. 
for healing. I am a healer. I'm an Egyptian healer, Egyptian shamanic healer. Um, and I say those two things together. Don't get all crazy and blah, 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 about all whatever, right? Because you too have ancestral genes and blood flowing through you. I encourage you to find out who that is. You might be a uh, pl uh, Palladian star seed or light worker. Uh, find, find out. Definitely find out, divine feminine men, if you have not found out about your ancestry, because it is going to help you tremendously. It's going to give you reassurance. It's going to give you encouragement to know that you've been here before, to know that you have ancestors that have information in your Akashic records that, that can help you and your ancestors are eager to help you. They agreed that you would be the one to carry this torch, whatever that torch happens to be for your bloodline. Your ancestors have selected you. Okay? So let's take a look at the other two angel numbers. Or not angel numbers. Um, Egyptian oracle cards. Pa-ta. What I was, I was just talking. Come on! Mm. Number 13. Pa-ta, my lord. That is who that is. Okay, and our last, Horus, Hawk, Hawks follow me, they've been with me in Arizona since I got here, they literally come and sit on the fence, follow me, and I'm having conversations with people outside on the street, literally, they're literally right there, they fly right, right up to me and right on the, right on the light post, they sit right there until I leave, that's literally happening. So, Horus, number nine. So, we have, let's look at synchronicity here for a minute. So, we have a 12. We have a 3. We have a 33. We have a, oh, 15. I thought that was 13. We have a 15. That's okay. Still same. And we have a 9. All of these numbers are divisible by what number? Three. So you have a four, you have a one, you have a 11, you have a five, and you have a three. Hot damn. <laughs> so, divine mat or excuse me, I keep wanting to say divine masculine. There are divine masculines that listen to my channel, including the... Well, I can't say they're divine. I know that there are people that I no longer speak to uh, that definitely listen to me on this channel. And all I can hope for for those people is that somehow, some way through me that they are being healed. It might be 50 years down the road and they're on their deathbed and they might be saying, you know, I knew he was right all along. I knew it. You know, or whatever, it doesn't matter because I'm not, I'm here for them. And then I'm also like Yeshua was here. He said he was here for the unbeliever, not the believer. Right. So, but again, pillars need reassuring too. And I absolutely believe that um, not often, but it happens. I've need reassurance or, or there were times when I could have used a hug or, or reassurance from man. I didn't get that. Um, but that's okay. Again, people, when people show you who they are, believe them, divine feminines. When people show you who they are, believe them. Okay? If your intuition's telling you no, what the fuck you doing saying yes for? If your intuition's telling you no, why are you saying yes? Divine feminine. Men. Huh? Why? Right? So, there are some men, males, who are feminine. Okay? You, wherever, all over. Right? You see it? As, you, you don't have to look too far today. That is not a divine feminine. That is not what I'm talking about. There's nothing homosexual about me. In fact... I, um, when I was in Atlanta 
And we know Atlanta, Atlanta is the East Coast San Francisco, or what San Francisco used to be. I don't know what San Francisco is today. But San Francisco used to be known as uh, a place that it was safe for homosexuals to be promiscuous. And Atlanta is the East Coast version of that, I guess. And I was in Norcross for about six months. And I can tell you for sure, the flames in Atlanta, they burn bright. I can tell you that for damn sure. They burn bright, real bright. 3033 on the timer. And so, um, I was up there living with, uh, uh, with someone who I've known for 39 years. Um, and, uh, Thought it was going to be for a couple years, but he ended up taking an opportunity out in Atlanta. I considered him a brother, um, but he ended up, I mean, out in San Francisco, <laughs> ironically. And uh, yeah, so he ended up going out there and getting married to a lady and having twins and all of that, which is great for them. But I ended up returning back to Florida. But when I was in Atlanta, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the flames burn bright in Atlanta. Um, and again, you have free will. You can do whatever you want to with with your body, most high, but I, my Lord, re I was going to say requires, mm. <sighs> strongly encourages us to be faithful to our temple, your physical body. So what does that mean? That means that you're not accepting every sexual offer that comes across your desk or table. Or phone. Okay. Um, protect yourself from those sexual, sexually promiscuous energies. If you are a divine feminine male, you are probably highly sensual. I'm not going to say sexual. Sensual. Okay. And so, I'll take myself for instance. So, I am definitely... A flower buying, I don't buy candy. Candy's dumb. Candy's such a stupid gift. I would buy, um, I would buy edible arrangements, right? I've done that many times um, over the years for various people. Uh, but that's far healthier than a box of chocolates, right? So, um, yeah. So I am a very, I'm a very sensual person. Okay, um, I generally, I feel sexy most every day, generally, right? Even if I don't shave, like, I have like a little five o'clock shadow right now, and, right? I still feel sexy. I'm by myself, celibate. Been that way since 2022. I have not had intercourse with a woman since 2022. Okay. Three, 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 zero on the timer. Threes are popping. Threes are popping. Threes. Most high. This weekend, mm, I don't know, seven days, something. Big, big, big. Big, big. And this meant these numbers may be confirmation for no one else but me. All these 333s, again, born on the 333rd day of the year. These threes with these Egyptian oracle cards, all three, all three, all divisible by three. Nikola Tesla was on to something about 369. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I would encourage you to listen to 369 Frequency if you do not, man. If you do not listen to 369 Frequency, I encourage you to do so. Men, how do you go about protecting your sacral chakra? First of all, you have to stop for a period of time of having intercourse. That's the first. You have to cleanse your sacral chakra, divine feminine men. Or men who are recognizing that they are divine feminine are just beginning this journey. You have to stop. 
sexing for a period of time in order for you to cleanse out your sacral chakra and guess what? It's not just sex. It's your creativity. So if you are a business owner and uh, if you're a business owner, you're already, you already have a creative and adventurous spirit, but it can be hindered by uh, you having sex and messing up your sacral energy where your creativity comes from. Three, listen, listen. <laughs> I just looked at the timer. It was another compliment. It's crazy. So you may be, you hear that siren? Just saying, man, just saying. So you need to clean your sacral chakra. Florida water. Men, take Florida water. Okay? I have two. You can buy them all over the place. I'm going to show you the ones that I have, the two that I have currently. Okay, men? So right here. Well, one from an Asian store and one from an American store. Okay? So here are the two bottles of Florida water that I currently am using. Okay? Okay. So, men, you need to get yourself some Florida water if you do not already have it. And this is if you are divine masculine or feminine. I don't care who you are. You need to cleanse your energy. This is one of the methods to do so. Okay? So you need to grab yourself some of this. And you can order it offline as well. You can order it through Amazon. That's commonplace today. The brick and mortar is going away. <laughs> um, so the only thing that's going to be left for brick and mortar is probably grocery stores eventually. There won't be any clothing stores. Malls are already obsolete. Um, yeah, it's only going to be for food. There's not going to be any need for retail. Uh, you can order a car online today. Um, Carvana, even though despite their financial struggles, Carvana has changed the way you can buy a car. Uh, just like Lyft has changed the taxi game or Uber changed the taxi game. Yeah, it's it's just... That's just the way that it's going. So anyway, um, the mission doesn't change, it's technology changes. That's all. So a horse and buggy is just not as fast as a car or a jet. But your purpose for why you are here remains the same. Okay? So, um, cleanse your energy with that Florida water. Okay? Um, men, to cleanse your energy... Or to go further, to cleanse your energy. Now, I will caution you because the um, uh, scrotum is sensitive. Okay? So, um, I didn't want to say nutsack. So, anyway, the scrotum is sensitive. So, um, when, when putting Florida water there, and I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Cleanse my sacral chakra right below my belly button, right? Um, in between my thighs. Yeah, uh-huh. Florida water. Yep, I do. Ain't no motherfucker getting in these. Not, with, not without my authorization and qualifying. Nobody. Nobody. I'll be celibate for the rest of my life. I wouldn't care and it won't matter to me. I wouldn't miss it to the extent that I would want to do anything to get, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want to sacrifice my spiritual strength for some pussy or dick. It doesn't matter if you are a female listening to this. No way. That is never worth it. Not even for a day. I don't care how long it lasts. It could last If your erection lasts more than four hours, please consult a physician. It could last four hours. I would still not sacrifice my spiritual promotions that I've received and ascensions for that. Because when the hour, when the time of four minutes and one minute, four hours and one minute strikes, one second strikes, guess what? You're going to be asked out.
Yep. Left high and dry. Quite literally. Probably. After four hours. Okay. So men. Four, zero, zero, four on the timer. Let's take a look at that angel number. What did I do with the cards? Um, let's take a look at that angel number, if I can find it. Uh, and then, uh, then, I'll, then we'll be going. But I just wanted to come on and share with the men what Most High had placed uh, uh, or brought to my attention today to share with the Divine Feminine Males, okay? Take care of yourself, men. Cleanse your energy, okay? Don't be afraid to be authentic. Please, please, please be who you are, okay? Don't let anyone else talk you out of being the beautiful, balanced, feminine, and masculine energy that you are. Do not allow somebody to talk you down from that. That is your purpose. That's why you're here, to raise the vibration not only of yourself, of your bloodline, of the people around you, and those seasons and times come and go. Don't let something that is temporary cause, here it is, oh there's one, cause a permanent uh, delay or a long delay in your promises coming to fruition. Um, I'm liking, every, I like every last one of these numbers in these cards. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. I'm looking at all of these like, yep, that's one, that's one, that's one. But they're angel number cards, so of course. But I'm just saying. Um, all right, so I have two that coincide with that. So let's take a look at what these two are before we go. So four zero four zero four. And 0440. Let's take a look. Slow down. Okay. Uh, balance. What was I just talking about? Power. Struggle. So there's a power. Hopefully there isn't. There shouldn't be a power struggle within yourself. You shouldn't be fighting anyone. Force. Violence. Hope. Authority. Ancestor, all this, look at this, all the stuff I've been talking about on this recording. Relentless, low vibrations, look, warning. Pay close attention to the people in your life. Ah, oh. Your surroundings and your physical health. Do not freak out. It's just a warning to be careful and awake to avoid any further issues. Communicate clearly and keep healthy boundaries. Is that not what I've just spent the last 43 minutes helping us to see and helping us to, again, be aware of, not that we forgot, but again, just a reminder to us all, right? Zero... Four four zero. Let's take a look and see. The gut feeling. That's Holy Spirit. If you didn't know that, okay. So, intuition, betrayed, uh, or oh, betrayal. What is that other word? I don't know. I have trouble reading that font. But that font, that type of font, is uh. It's just strange to me for some reason. I don't know. Oh. Uh, betrayal pessimism. Relating virtues inside. I was just reading all the words. Um... Uh, Increased, wow, love, perception, monogamy, huh, follow your gut, it's more than just a, more than a feeling, be real with people and focus on meaningful relationships, remember, you also must bring value to the table, treat others with respect or else karma will bite your ass. Three is a crowd. <laughs> so guess what? 
No, no menage a trois, no none of that. No, three is a crowd. No, no open marriages, no none of that shit, divine feminines. None of that shit. You're not Will Smith and Jada. Their fucking sacral chakras are so fucking nasty, it's not even funny. Okay, you're not Dwayne Martin. Okay? You're not Quincy Jones. Maybe you want to be. I wouldn't encourage that. So, thank you so much for tuning in. And again, Divine Feminine Males, I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in and being a part of raising the vibration of this planet. That is the reason for which we are here. Thank you so much for being on your job, being diligent in your job, because divine time waits for no one. Divine time comes, whether you're ready for it or not. So guess what? The next Mercury, retro Mercury retrograde that's coming, I think it starts in July, I don't know. Starts in July. I posted a video about that. Um, or maybe I just used, I used the, the upcoming Mercury retrogrades, as a, as a, picture on one of the videos or something like that. But anyway, I think it's in July. Um, and it runs like till the end of November or something. It's a long, it's a long retrograde. So anyway, thank you so much as always for tuning in. My name is Nehru. This is The Encourager. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can do so via email at TheEncourager333 at Gmail. Okay? I am on Instagram at The Encourager. I am on uh, Facebook at Nehru Pata. That's N-E-H-R-U-P-T-A-H. Okay? And uh, I am also on LinkedIn. So if you want to connect to me, connect with me through any of those platforms, you can feel free to send me an invite or a connection request as LinkedIn calls them. And uh, yeah, so um, if you want to find me on LinkedIn, um, if you just type in Nehru, N-E-H-R-U, uh, and then you look for the individual who is the encourager, you will find me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Nehru. This is the encourager where we are helping the whole become their highest, purest, truest version of themselves possible. We do that through unconditional love and healing. We do that through releasing. We do that, we do that through non-emotional means. That's how we raise the vibration of the earth. Thank you so much for tuning in and tune in again soon.